Every class I ask this question. And the number should increase because we live stream these events so people should be watching it throughout the country, throughout the world. But right now, by show of hands, who here in under 10 seconds can come teach this corner class audience how to find an ROI, return on investment? Raise your hand. Look around. Look around. Everybody, look around. How are we going to do business together? How are we going to bridge the, the poverty gap, the wealth gap, when out of nearly 200, we ain't got one that can comp maybe one, that can confidently say, I could tell us how to find the return on investment. If we can't find a return on our investment, how are we going to invest together? Who won't trust who to invest if we can't find a return on our investment? So as we close, I'm going to teach you today. Very simple. Ten seconds. When you want to find the return on your investment, remember I showed you all those bank numbers and you can look at your money, you can look at all your money, the opportunity cost, and you can see what that money makes you in any financial instrument. 1%, 2%, 0.001%. So that's how you compare apples to apples and say, you know what? Is that opportunity you brought me better than this opportunity over here? Well, you're say 7% ROI. That's a 12% ROI. Now I've got to say, well, are you more reliable than them? And who's more, who's more credible? Who's more risky? Or if the risk are the same and the credibility is the same, I'm going with the higher ROI. Return on investment. So here's how we find the ROI. I'm going to teach you in 10 seconds, then we're going to learn it together. The simple as this. Whenever you want to find an ROI, you take your net profit divided by your initial investment and your total investment. Multiply that times 100, and that's your return on investment. Simple as that. I need everybody together. Net profit divided by investment times 100 equals ROI. And I'm going to show us real quick how we find a return on investment on any, any asset. I don't care if you're selling waters, selling t-shirts, you're doing hair, I don't care what it is. You knowing how to find that return on investment allows you to have a sophisticated conversation with anyone and say, bro, I got a solid business. I invested this much into it. I made back this much net profit. And here's my return on my investment. I want you to get down with me. Now you can have a more sophisticated conversation. God bless you, Queen. One more time, net profit. Net profit. One more time, net profit. Net profit. Divided, by investment. Divided by investment. Times 100. Times 100. Equals, ROI. Equals ROI. Let me show you some game real quick as we, as we close. You, we can take houses. We can take bottles of water. It don't matter. If we were to buy a 24 pack of water for $4, and we want to sell, teach our kids to sell water on the street to make some extra money for their whatever, whatever. But we know to sell the water, it gotta be cold, so we need a bucket and some ice. So if we spent $6 on a bucket and some ice. If we have a 24 pack of water, how much we sell each water for? How much? A dollar. So how much can we sell the whole pack for? All right. So we know our sales is $24. But we have to buy the waters, we have to buy the bucket and buy the ice. So our investment is how much? $10. Simple. So to find our profit, we take our sales minus our investment. We know we got how much profit? $14. So now if we want to find the ROI on this investment, we simply take our profit of $14 divided by how much? $10 was our investment. Times 100, that's going to equal our return on our investment. So somebody who has a, a phone handy, let's do the math. You ain't even got to think. Stop thinking. You ain't got to think. All you got to do is what I said. Take our net profit, $14.
divided by ten dollars multiply times 100 excuse me and that number is your ROI what's that number somebody what's that 140 140 percent return on investment Wow that's the better use of your ten dollars than it's sitting in your checking account so let's step it up one, one notch this game for st. Louis right here you find a property in the community you go through the dollar program you get a property for one dollar but now you learn how to do what's called your due diligence and you find out that the property got a $17,000 lien on it got to get paid. You find out the property needs $24,000 worth of work. It don't matter, it's all just numbers. So we know we in for $41,000 will be our all in to acquire this property. And we know we'll hold it for a few years or whatever the case is. And in a few years, we'll be able to sell. We find out the market value for this property is $69,000. So if we can sell it for $69,000, we were all in it for $41,000 in our dollar. That means we can make $28,000 profit on this property at some given time, right? All I did was took how much we could sell it for minus how much we spent on it. Matter of fact, 21, 28,000, what'd you call it? Yeah, we leave it alone. So boom, 28,000 profit. So our initial investment was how much? 41. So now we got a profit of 28,000 divided by a $41,000 investment times our 100. Somebody tell me what's our ROI. You ain't even gotta think. 28,000 divided by 41,000 times 100. 68%. It's a freaking great return on me, pretty good. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> But now you see how you're able, now you can entice somebody or a lender or private financer or a credit partner to come rock with you on an opportunity because, yo, bro, we can make 68%. You know what? If I'm half wrong, we still can make 34%. If I'm half wrong at that half, we can still make 17%. Still beats where your money's currently at. If I'm half wrong and half wrong at that half. But that's really how I do business. It's how you build wealth out of thin air. It's understanding what opportunities look like and now being able to present those opportunities as somebody that's credible to other money sources or to your credit partners who are in a rebuild, restore, recycle period. Oh, got the capital. That's how you win and win big and win forever.